Okay. Now, while we're working on stuff, it's always a good idea to have a visual representation of what you're working on. Just so you know, you know, remember how he looks so you don't get confused. Here we are, Fireman. Zoom in a little bit so you can see what he looks like. He's got shoulders, funky feet, and two blaster hands. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on Mega Man's legs here. And we're going to Right, and we're gonna start erasing. What's how surprising? Okay, so we want to keep you know a black outline around them a bit because it'll look better that way. Trust me, I know. The erasing of. These little shadow bits always the most annoying thing to do. You can always get a little too much. If you get your tool, your lasso here, you can round up a bunch of them and just control X to cut. And that will clear up things a little faster for you than just erasing each individual one like that. I just errored, so you control Z to fix a mistake. Okay, you might be noticing right now that, hey, the eraser does something weird. Or was it the cutting that did it? There are straight little half, half invisible pixels. One thing I forgot to do is what you need to remember to do every time. You need to go to Image, Mode, Indexed, 256 colors. Why? Because that's how many colors, you know, you need to know how to do that if you're making things from movement anyway. Also, notice how those all those stray semi-invisible pixels disappeared? If you can notice them with how YouTube's quality is, even in the high quality version of the video. Anyway, it makes things easier and allows you to not have color mistakes. I made the mistake of not editing like that when I was making Sniper Joe, and now there's, you know, like a bunch of stray versions of the same color green that I can't seem to get rid of without screwing up the way he looks. Okay, now that we've got that done. I'm going to take the lasso and just make a copy of them. So in case I do something stupid, I go over here. You can hold down Control S to save every time. We're going to copy that. Move it down. Right there. Zoom the zoom Okay, so Bit bit bit. Cut. Cut that off. Go away. I cut too much. No, no, I didn't. All right, so we're gonna move them over. Line up to figure out about where we're gonna want to place them. About there is good. So I'm gonna go over here. No more hugs for Mega Man. Oh, poor Mega Man. He died. No, he's not dead. Just line it up again. It's even better right there. Okay. Make some fixes. You just zoom in, grab a pencil, and or eraser for this. Erase that little straight bit. And yeah, that, that's good enough for now. Alright, now I'm going to take... Oh, I... Son of a... I forgot something. So we're going to open up the main sprite sheet again. Can't believe I forgot to grab it. 
He's his arm pointing outward. So just look down for him punching. Not his uppercut, his like normal punch. Right there. That will do nicely. Okay, now we really do have all the pieces we need. Alright. Okay. So we got the arm. Move it over. Here. Yonder. Line it up a bit. Grab our race race. Go. Lined up. Perfect. Grab the pencil. And we fill in these spaces. Now it looks like Mega Man is pointing awkwardly in that direction. Congratulations. Okay, now what we do is we grab the buster. Alright, speed up right there. We grab the buster. Copy paste the. Uh, zoom in. And we erase those yucky bits on his hand. Line it up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there. Oh, and we still have his fist in the way. So we can just erase that. Alright. Now we grab. Another arm. Take off that little bit. Take off a little bit more. ourselves Mega Man in a custom position. Now that's just normal Franken spreading right there. You, make, you bring things together to change the position. And I just showed you how to Franken sprite Mega Man to a new stance if you wanted. But we're not done yet. We still gotta turn him into him. <laughs> 